Hello, this is Saul Luckman. It's my pleasure to welcome you to Conversations on Saul Luckman Uncensored, sponsored by snooze2awaken.com, resources for lucidity. For more information about my work, including a lot of cutting edge free content, check out prorising.com. I'm also on Telegram, where I'm sharing daily truth bombs at t.me slash Saul Luckman. I expect today's interview to be fascinating. Mike Donio is one of the few highly credentialed researchers in the pharma medical mafia complex to escape the grips of scientism and start a new life, exposing its utter lack of scientific rigor and methodology. I don't want to spoil his story by giving too much away right now, but suffice it to say that Mike is a serious former biotech scientist with advanced degrees in biochemistry, and molecular biology from renowned universities, including a Johns Hopkins concentration in biotechnology enterprise. One of Mike's goals in going public with his experiences, a goal you can support by following his telegram channel at t.me slash scientists for health freedom, is to help more scientists speak out uh, and to help people become their own scientific experts. So thanks so much for joining me today, Mike. How are you? Hi, Saul. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm, I'm truly grateful for any and every opportunity to speak out. Well, obviously, you're, you're kind of making the rounds. I, I, I heard your show over on Alpha Vedic, as I mentioned uh, before we came on live here. And um, that was really uh, that was really eye opening. I mean, you know, Dr. Bear and, and Mike do a great job. So you guys went into some some really cool territory. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was that was a great discussion. So, uh, you know, people, if you want to go over to alphavedic.com or look them up on YouTube or BitChute or wherever, that's a good interview. And here we might cover some of the same material, but I have some other other ideas and questions as well. And I thought we could just jump right into to your path and how you got to where you are today uh, in terms of your exit from from the biotech industry you know, how that transpired, at least in general terms, and, uh, you know, what, the, what was the precipitating factor, and, uh, you know, how, how, what your thought press process was in making that change? Yeah, so I think the, the long and short of it is that um, I was in, I've been a scientist for 20 years. The majority of that has been in the pharmaceutical and biotech industry. And that 20 years science scientist scientific career came to an abrupt end last October uh, when the biotech company that I was working for uh, required that everybody take the, um, the COVID jab. Um, and I did not wish to comply and they terminated me. And um, really... I have always been throughout my entire career, somewhat of a skeptic, uh, always been someone that's asked a lot of questions. So when COVID came along, I did my research and was very, very skeptical of the science and also, uh, you know, knew a lot about the, the technology going into these new vaccines and things. And uh, had a, had just a tremendous amount of questions, and um, that combined with um, my my strong beliefs, my strong Christian beliefs, I just couldn't uh, I I couldn't go along with it, and so um, I I just said no, and um, you know it's been incredibly. Uh, li a li incredibly liberating experience uh, since then. Um, challenging, yes, but I've connected with a lot of uh, incredible people along the way, and I've been fortunate to have a lot of great opportunities like this to speak out. Um, and so, you know, the way I look at it is there's no amount of, of money or any perk that I might have been getting in that industry that could, could have accounted for kind of number one, just the 
craziness of forcing something like that on someone, but but also just the, the kind of soul crushing nature of the industry in general due to the current state of science. Um, so I'm, I'm in a position now where I, I really have no regrets. I mean, it, it's uh, it's kind of a whole new world. And um, it was it was maybe not an easy decision. But when I looked at all of the, the data and really went through everything, it it, it was pretty clear to me what, what I needed to do. And, um, you know, I think it's one of those things where nobody wants to wake up in the morning and have to deal with this, what we've had to deal with the last two years. But I think it's how you respond to that when you, when that challenge is foisted upon you, that really kind of defines us. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be kind of part of this, this movement and this fight now and um, just trying to do the best that I can to, um, to, to speak out and shed some more light on the current state of science.